Hello there, it's me again. I'm going to talk about laptops today. No bikes today. Laptops and computers is another one of my hobbies. Probably my third hobby. Or third main hobby, anyway. Um, these are two compact Armada E500s. I got given by one of my best friends. Um, they weren't working. I've reinstalled Windows 98 on this one, and Windows 2000 on that one. And now when I boot them up, I'll probably find I've got that ran completely the wrong way. Anyway, I'm having to use a universal adapter because they didn't come with a power adapter. And of course, if you're using a universal adapter, make sure the voltage is set correctly. So, here we go. Let's turn it on. I do like these old laptops. Look at this. Look at this. What use is that sort of cable? Look how short it is. And for, our, for my American viewers and non-British viewers, that's what a British plug is. Three pin square plug with a fuse. That's a sealed one. Look how short that is. I'm not sure what you would actually, what practical use that would have. Let's get that out of the way. That was plugged in the back of my universal adapter. Yeah, for some reason I put a password on them. I don't know why. I just felt like it at the time. But it's absolutely fine. There's a bit of damage down here on the corner of the floppy drive. Apart from that, it's not in too bad condition, cosmetically. Yeah, I was trying to get Skype to work as well, and that didn't work. Never mind. One day I'll, I'll uh, un uninstall that. And these are both identical laptops, apart from this one has got slightly better specs, obviously, because it's got Windows 2000 on it, and then this one. But all the ports and the actual design is all exactly the same. To look at, they'd be identical, if it wasn't for the stickers giving it away. All your audio, mic in... Ethernet port, modem. I'm not sure what that button is. It's even got video out. Actually, I think it'd be easier to turn the one. Oh. It isn't plugged in. There we go. Single USB port, VGA, VGA out, parallel ports, external keyboard and mouse port. Let's turn this one back around. Okay, so I'll shut this one down, we'll give the other one a boot up. Start. Shut down. Okay. Batteries don't hold charge very well on these, but for old laptops, I never expect them to be any good anyway. I think you'd be lucky to find a good battery on an old laptop like this. Is it actually doing anything? Here it is. It's just taking its time. Right, let's do the next one. I might find the power hole. There it is. I think that's plugged in. Yep, I've got the power light on. This one does seem to have an Ethernet port problem. 
the drive is installed fine, but it still doesn't work. So one will assume the little board down there with the modem and ethernet ports on probably doesn't work, but it doesn't matter. I do have a couple spare from a couple more identical to these that I broke up for parts. They were beyond repair, so I just broke them for parts. <coughs> and one day I will uh, get round to fitting it. It was 2000 professional. Yeah, one of my other hobbies, the biggest hobby is Lego. And I've got a separate channel for that. In case you're wondering why all that Lego is in the background. I'm sure this one takes longer to boot up than the 98. Did I put a password on this one or did I not? If you're wondering what that crash was, that was my chair running into a laptop on the floor. Which I'll do another video on. Oh, what have we got here? The time and date on system is invalid, don't go away. I'm not worrying about that now. That was the hold note will that I used this time round. It's the second video I've put together on the same set of batteries. For some reason with these compact armadas there's two on-off buttons. You've got this one here, which you just flick to one side, or you've got the blue one. No idea why Compaq decided to do that. The, the um, 98 one's got the same features. There we go, all booted up. Two of my favourite laptops. I've got two more on the floor that I'll do a separate video on. I'm guessing Nemo is hungry because he's behind me meowing. So, I'm going to end the video here. Uh, thank you for watching, and see you next time.